It is a featherweight championship showdown between Alexander Volkanovsky and the Korean zombie, Chan Song Jung. So here he is, the number one featherweight contender, making his walk to the octagon for this UFC featherweight championship opportunity. It's been a long time coming. No denying he is worthy of this chance, and he believes he's the best featherweight in the world. His opportunity to prove it is now just a few short moments away. The rest of the numbers are nearly identical. All right, now for the official introductions. We go to the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC featherweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 17 wins, 7 losses. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Seoul, South Korea, presenting the challenger, the Korean Zombie Chan Song Jong! And now, introducing the champion, fighting! Out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 24 wins, one loss. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Alexander the Great Bogonovsky. This is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come out your corners, come out fight. You ready? Are you ready? Well, the tension is palpable as this fight gets underway, and it'll be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Definite striker on one side against another guy who's secure. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. The Korean zombie gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. And a nice left hand there on the inside. 
Just missed with the left there. Blocks the shot. Connects with the right. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. And that it comes knee, through with a big knee. That knee hurt him. Vicious combo there. Oh, straight right. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Big punch to the clinch. All right, both fighters now continuing to try to get a more dominant position. Got a single collar tie. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Big kick. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Alexander Volkanovsky. And they separate. Big ball to punch land. Now we get back to range. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Volkanovski goes for the clinch here, and this is just a means by which to recover. He is stunned. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Well, the champ Volkanovski continues to keep his opponent guessing here tonight. You lower the guard, and he goes upstairs and was able to land the right hand there. Landed that beautiful right hand. But if you start thinking leg kick, if you start thinking right hand, Alexander Volkanovski will change levels, explode into you. And when he gets his hand locked, you're going to ride. This guy's a full-on mixed martial arts fighter. Oh, effective strike there by the Korean Zombie. Less than a minute to go in the round. Oh, there's a takedown attempt. Unable to get the fight to the ground. Nice job by the opponent. Nice job by the opponent. Defending the takedown. But now, he is going to have to mix it up again. The first shot will not work. He's got to go one, two, three. At his time to try to overwhelm him. To give him too much to process. To try to get this fight to the ground. Oh, big head kick there. Final seconds of round one. What an end to round one. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, next round is underway, and somewhat surprisingly, he got out of that previous round without absorbing anything in terms of significant damage, despite the fact that his opponent was pretty offensive. His opponent was very active, but it seems as though he could see almost everything coming in this direction. He's so well-versed, he's so skilled in his defensive fighting that nothing is breaking his defense. The Korean Zombie gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. And he landed the right hand there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Volkanovski's got his back. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. The Korean Zombie's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. He slipped that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us. Doesn't have to be tough. And oh! Dude, serve, serve him up. Go get him. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend the referee's going to stop. got to defend. Oh, and he hip tosses him to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's going to try to control him, then find a submission. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Side control now. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Volkanovski's looking to pass out of the half guard and attain side control here, but unable to do so. Gets up again here, but hurting. Oh, 
we call on the fight stats here. These numbers unofficial, but 61 total strikes have landed for Alexander Volkanovsky. And connecting with just a 36% accuracy there against the Korean zombie Chan Sung Jung. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Lance with the right hand. Caught that kick there. Trying to kick the leg out. And both guys really throwing with him. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off his back. And Chung's got his hand looking for a guillotine choke. Just as the horn sounded, safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So, back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round. And get that man a singlet, man, right? Offensive wrestling on point tonight. That was a tutorial. That was every single takedown you could secure in a fight. He did it all the right way. He's beating his opponent to the finish before he can try to sprawl and respond. He's a step behind. If he's gonna stop these takedowns going forward, he needs to react a little quicker. You ready? You ready? So Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh! Oh! What a shot there. He's lucky his head's still attached to his body. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was Overeem versus Ngannou. And you know they still haven't found out the Overeem head. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. Oh, nice job to defend the takedown and scramble to his feet. Nice punch there. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range. He'll suddenly he'll change his stance. 75 total strikes have landed for Alexander Volkanovsky. And striking at a 44% cliff against the Korean zombie Chan Sung Jung. Enters in on the double leg. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Connection there. He landed in perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. All right, less than three minutes to go now in round three. Oh! at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh! He's in trouble. He's getting lit up. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, the master of the transition. Nice scramble. Under two minutes to go. Duffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, and he can find So now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here tonight. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground. Oh, you gotta watch him attack his submissions. He throws the legs up to try to get a triangle choke here. My triangle, my triangle. The arm to the side, get his head against the back. Now, what? And this might just be a matter of time. Oh, and he chokes him to sleep with the arm triangle. Again, pick your poison on the ground with this guy. All that pressure on the side of your neck. I don't know the artery, John. I'm pretty sure you might. You get all that pressure on that artery, and it pushes you to sleep. What is it? I think it's the carotid artery, and a lot of fighters say they've got a pretty good feel for it. He certainly did there. 
That's why you gotta have friends that are like encyclopedias. John Ennix, my encyclopedia. My guy. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. Well, hard not to feel good for the UFC featherweight champion of the world, not only getting the job done here tonight, but getting the finish as well. A huge submission and one of the bigger performances of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliana has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 24 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by submission, due to an arm triangle choke, and new undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, the Korean zombie, Chan Sung well, how about it, ladies and gentlemen? There he is, the new king at 145 pounds, becoming the UFC featherweight champion tonight. And by way of submission, I might add, incredible, incredible result here tonight. And now he celebrates with his coaches and sparring partners an 